Is your creative space out of control? I'm talking sewing rooms, gift wrapping area, all your crafting spaces. I want to talk about how to make these look like basically a candy store. Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today I'm going to let you in to a place that I do not share with the public usually. I did share it with my behind the scenes girls in classes recently, but I want to take you into my craft closet is what I call it. It's a walk-in closet, that's what I have in this house for all things creative. So whether you have a drawer, a closet, an entire room, a separate shop, Whatever you have where you keep all your things like wrapping paper and glue guns and ribbons, I want to talk about how to make it look really good and still be functional. I also would like to do a little throwback to our Styling Thrifted Finds videos, which I've done in the past and I know you love them. I kind of was getting tired of the thrift stores for a little bit there, but garage sale season is upon us, so I will be doing a little more flavoring of this type of video for you, I'm sure, in the future. So with that, let's take a look at the things that I want you to be collecting when you're out thrifting, planning to give your crafting space a makeover. You want to grab things like office supply organizers or desk organizers. So I got this at the thrift store for $5 or something, it has some drawers in it. And it was funny, there was a lady looking at it and you know how when you see someone looking at something and then suddenly you want to buy it? <laughs> it was one of those things where I was like, oh dang it, she's going to get it. And she put it back, okay, someone had put the drawer in the wrong spot so it looked like we were missing a middle drawer. And I went to grab it and she says, just so you know, she says there's a drawer missing. Well then, I figured out that it was just assembled wrong and there isn't supposed to be a drawer on that top area. Then a little bit farther down the aisle, I found this one that matched. So I grabbed this. You also could spray paint something that was a similar style. I love these old things. Oh, it says in these little wooden paper organizers and they're especially nice if they have felt on the bottom. Grab these. Now this may surprise you but I want you to grab wooden spools when you see these out and about. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with wooden spools. Of course all sizes of these lidded glass jars are fabulous and these really add to the candy store feel. Also, I want you to grab wire baskets, so that could be the locker bin type baskets or something like this. I got this in a free box at a garage sale. Whenever I say that, I get questions about what's a free box? When you're at a garage sale, a lot of times people get tired of pricing things and they just, it's just decision fatigue, brain overload. And so they'll just put a box out. It's usually right by the street and it says free and most of it is total garbage. True. But it's always worth looking. I've found some good clothes. I found, found this silver basket, bread basket. I found a wool rich wool blanket one time. So you just never know. It's always worth checking the free box. Glass bottles. You want to get a nice collection of these. I'm going to show you what to do with glass bottles. Tin pails. I think I paid a dollar for this. Originally five dollars from Target. I love the wooden handles, those are always a nice little touch, so grab some pails when you see those. And I suggest getting baskets and crates. So this one was cute, I love that it was lidded, I love that it had handles. And anytime you are working in a small space, you want to go for rectangle or square baskets. So you can make the most out of squishing everything together. Round baskets are better for decorative spaces or maybe filling a corner, you know, like a tall basket. Square and rectangle are good for this project. So 
when you first come in on the top shelf, I have cutting supplies. So special scissors, exacto knife, punches, that kind of stuff. Then I have, of course, ribbons. I put all my glue guns and glue sticks in a pail. I put cute card, thank you cards, graduation cards, and those kinds of things in this little office organizer that, that I got at the thrift store. I have some alphabet stamps and ink pads. Then on the next shelf, I have just plain white cardstock. I have my candle making supplies in this lidded basket. And I like to make vases with this caning and this basket reed for when, when I give people flowers. I like to have that extra touch with a, a pretty vase. Of course, fun straws for parties. So I kind of have entertaining in the center. Hopefully this is all gonna work for me. Then some tags, my ribbons really cute idea to put your ribbons on old spools and put them in a glass jar. In the back I have this awesome glass jar with pretty tags, gift tags, and then a little basket with embellishments that I would also add on gifts. Then we have some albums and binders that I need for the house, some linens. I use these a lot for photography and ta tablecloths for parties and things. A few more spools of ribbons and extra wooden spools. I may move this somewhere else. We'll see how it works. Then I have a little hostess diary. I keep track of when I throw a party and what works well and what didn't work well. I have a few more options of cardstock in these drawers. And I love crepe paper. I think it's so vintage and inexpensive and it just, I always want crepe paper in a party. Then I have some of my camera gear. Underneath, I have the less cute things, so a supply of toilet paper for the bathroom across the hall. I have some gifts that I am waiting to give to different people. I have my fabric supply, things like that. I am going to put my camera gear on the floor, and that's the only thing that's allowed on the floor, and I use it all the time, so good to pull it in and out. Oh, then above the window, we have a little collection of glass jars. And this one here on the left is my very favorite. It's a vanilla Watkins bottle. And I just, I got it at an antique store because my mom always bought real vanilla from the fair, the Watkins vanilla. So it's very sentimental. And then on the opposite wall here, I have my one of my wire hampers. I have a DIY for this. And I just put a king size pillowcase in there. And we use them for clothes hampers, but I had an extra one. And so my wrapping paper is going here. I got these amazing hooks. We just painted them uh, bronzy black. I have gift bags hanging and then a bag of all my tissue papers. And I, I do organize my tissue papers in rainbow order. So it's easy to see real quick what I have. So it's kind of the gift wrapping station on this side. I can grab what I want, kind of like a little stop at a store and grab what I need. And then up here is a shelf of books. It's kind of my library. So people will ask me for different books about the Lord and things. and. These are my favorites and I loan these out all the time. So these are just kind of all ready to go. And then I have, of course, my, my broom and my dustpan. And that's it. All right, so I hope you loved my little tour of my craft closet. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Now I am hearing that a lot of you don't actually have the bell turned on, which I do suggest doing if you want to get notified. Usually I'm posting on the weekends, but it will let you know when the latest video has come up. And once you've done that, I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care. I'll talk to you soon.